Hey, Bill O'Reilly here. This is the Talking Points Memo for Newsmax. Pity the kids going back to college. Not all colleges, but a lot of them. A lot of big ones. Michigan State University. 15,000 resident students. Okay? 15,000. Well, they come out with a little pamphlet, and, and they're going to have uh, meetings about this. So you've got to be very sensitive at Michigan State University. So you can't say certain things. Now, they're not going to punish you. This is a suggestion. It's a suggestion that comes from the inclusive and culturally sensitive service to residents and guests. I got to tell you, when I was in college, if somebody came to my door and said, hey, I'm from the inclusive, culturally sensitive service, I'd throw water on them. <laughs> they wouldn't make it out of the dorm. Now these people are powerful. They, they got a lot to say. And they basically said, you can't say certain things because it triggers. It's a trauma trigger. What's a trauma trigger? A psychological stimulus that prompts recall of a previous traumatic experience. So you can't say anything to trigger somebody. Oh, I got yelled at when I was seven years old by my dad. You just triggered that flashback. So Michigan State University, you should not say no problem. Why? Because if you say no problem to another person, that may have the meaning that that person was trying to cause a problem. <laughs> Maybe. Could. All right. Now, I said that person. I didn't say he or she. Because you can't say he or she. So no longer is Michigan State a binary gender campus. No way. There's 15 genders here. There. So you have to refer to everybody as they. Not he or she. There's all kinds of genders. All right? You gotta be very, very sensitive around Muslim students. And say anything, people of color, uh, no, 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 no. Okay? And I guess they have cards that you can select your gender at Michigan State. <laughs> you can select it. So, according to the microaggression website at the residence. Uh, halls of Michigan State. I'm going to quote, college campuses serve many purposes, including the creation and maintenance of multicultural and brave spaces, brave spaces for action and dialogue around social justice. Now, I remember the movie Brave Heart. Is that like brave spaces? Because in that movie, if I remember, um, there were massive beheadings. Okay, there were, you know, the brave heart people in Scotland um, <laughs> were coming down and like cutting off the heads of the English, and then the English were doing that to them, and that was brave heart. No, it's not brave spaces. No, it's a different thing. So you have safe spaces, and now you're brave spaces at Michigan State. So before you even get your class schedule, all right, you got to deal with all this. So the kids coming in from, you know, Grand Rapids, Michigan, going to college for the first time, away from home for the first time. And this is what he's got to do. I can't say no problem. I, I can't say he or she. <laughs> Give these kids a break. Now, it's going on all over the place. All over the place. But I wrote my uh, message of the day on BillOReilly.com, and I said, be optimistic. This is going to burn out. And I believe that because similar things happened during the Vietnam era in college. It was really insane back then. Okay? And it all vanished. That radicalism, sex, drugs, rock and roll, the hippies, and all of that really subsided. And I think in this country, critical mass already been reached. The people are going to go, mm, we're tired of this. It's tedious. It's boring. We don't want you coming up telling us we can't say the words, no problem. I do believe that will happen. I don't know when. I'd like to lead the charge here. And I feel sorry for the urchins going to college. 
And you, the parents and grandparents, paying a tuition in many cases. They had to put up with this nonsense. It had nothing to do with education. This is a flat-out totalitarian brainwashing deal. And Michigan State University should be ashamed. That is the Talking Points Memo. I'm Bill O'Reilly for Newsmax. Please check out BillOReilly.com for honest, fact-based commentary. See you soon.